Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Aircraft Certification Channel. I'm Rafaela Caio, and today I'm going to show you how to access the air airworthiness requirements in the FAA website. If you want to see how to access the same requirements in other authorities, just let me know in the comments section. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do it now and hit the bell to receive a notification every time we upload a new video. Follow us on social media. We post very interesting content about aircraft development and certification. Hope to see you there. Okay, so this is the website where you can find the FAA requirements. And I'm going to let the link in the description area so you can access directly to this page. So this is called the Electronic Code of Federal Regulations. And it will give you always the most updated version of the requirement. So as you can see here, it's the ECFR data uh, current as May uh, 12th, 2021. Okay. There is another website where you can access what we call historic uh, requirements. And I'm going to show you this in another video. So today we are going to focus on the current requirements and how to access the airworthiness requirements. And this is the where you're going to find the Title 14 Aeronautics and Space. The FAA requirements are divided into volumes and chapters, but, but most commonly we hear that they are divided in parts. So you can browse the parts through these uh, links here. The, the first section here, it's volume one, chapter one. It's a uh, part one through 20, uh, 59. So if we click into this link, it will lead us to another page where you're going to see all the parts, uh, from one to 59. So I, I would like to call your attention here to part one, because this is about definitions and abbreviations. And uh, sometimes it's very useful uh, to know exactly what a term is. So here you can access the definitions. And it avoids uh, misusing of terms in aviation. As you can see, um, the parts are also divided into subparts. And the airworthiness parts, the airworthiness requirements are here in subchapter C, aircraft. And the, the part 21 is about certification procedures for products and articles. And we are going to see this also in another video. So most of my videos are about the certification process, which is focused on part 21. But today we are going to see how to access the airworthiness standards. So airworthiness standards are basically part 23 and 25 for airplanes. So 23 is for normal category airplanes and 25 for transport category airplanes. Then we have 27 and 29, which are airworthiness standards for rotorcraft on normal category rotorcraft and transport category rotorcraft. Then we have part 20, uh, 31 for man free balloons. And we have part 20, uh, 33 for aircraft engines. So 34 uh, and 36 is uh, noise and emissions, and we have 35 for propellers. And I think that's the last one, uh, the last airworthiness standard, which is for 35, and the other ones are other subjects. So here, uh, is where you can find 
the airworthiness standards. So let's take a look at part 25 and 23 to see how they are organized. So starting with part 23, uh, they're both subdivided into different subparts. So they have a similar uh, organization at where subpart A is general, subpart B is flight, C structures, D it's design and construction, E it's power plant, F equipment, G flight crew interface and other information. So this, uh, this is for the part 23. The part 25, it's similar to that, but it's a little uh, longer, I would say. So it starts with a support A general, support B flight, then we have support C structure, support D design and construction, so it's the same, support E power plant, support F equipment, and support G operating limitations and information. So that's, uh, you can see that's very similar uh, to part 23. So the organization is very similar. But here on support, uh, on part 25, we also have support H, which is electrical wiring and interconnection system, systems, EWIS. Uh, we also have support I, which is special federal aviation regulation, and it concerns to this uh, is FAR 111 on laboratory oxygen system. And then we have here uh, appendices, so from appendix A to O, and with some kind of miscellaneous uh, subjects that are here in the appendix. And I would say that. Uh, those appendices are quite important. So we have here Appendix F, which is um, flammability uh, and ICAs on Appendix H and emergency evacuation on Appendix uh, J. So a lot of different uh, subjects in the appendix as well, okay? So actually this was uh, what I had to show you today. What how to find and how to access the most current requirements on the FAA website. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this can be useful for you uh, in your daily lives and hope to see you around. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.